That's actually a really good question. So like, he did this last time. He did this in the last <laughs> video. Jeez. Oh shit. <laughs> you gotta put that video. You I'm sorry, right bro. Yeah, bro. So we should be filming an unboxing of all of the stuff that you can see down there. But everyone, myself, all of these guys, we're really, really hungry. So we're gonna drive to Five Guys real quick, grab some burgers, come back, and then do the unboxing. Then we'll be super quick. Hey guys, so we're back with another Q&A unboxing. We've got a few parcels. I've got Richard, our stick specialist, and Tommy over there. You've seen him in a bunch of different videos that we post on YouTube. Gonna be going through some questions that you've asked us on Instagram, Facebook, and also on Twitter. I think on Twitter. I'll see what questions that we have, but I'll let Tommy read off the first ones while we figure out what's inside some of these boxes. First one. What's the first question, mate? First question is from Detroit Tibovich. Uh, when are you coming to Montreal, if you ever are? Montreal. What was the name of the person? Uh, Natroy Tipovich. Natroy Tipovich. Natrov. Natrov. Natroy? Natrov Tipovich. Natrov Tipovich. We're butchering that. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry for murdering your, murdering your name, buddy. Uh, Montreal, I don't know. We're hopefully going to be trying getting out there this winter time. Um, we're going to be in Toronto definitely this winter. Montreal, we'll see how it goes, but hopefully we'll be able to do that the same time that we go to Toronto. Around November, October time, but we'll we'll keep you guys posted. Cheers, bud. First package is from Hey Duke, a visor and a cage combo. Now this is actually for me. I normally use a visor, uh, but the last couple of weeks I've had a couple of close calls, pucks to the chin, pucks to the cheek, and um, I don't want a cage because I can't see anything, and I think this is a good substitute for it. So. Uh, so a big thank you to Hey Duke supplier in the UK, which is Blue Line Sports. Thank you very much for sending this over. Looking forward to getting this on my helmet and trying it out. Carter Sullivan, can you do a review on refurbished hockey sticks? Okay, I'm gonna let Richard take this one since he's the uh, stick guy, but we've got a parcel here that kind of answers that. Uh, I like it, you don't look like Jesus. I wish you had mounted your helmet so we can make so, it for the next 20 minutes. I like this. I don't think Richard likes it so no, much. No, I don't mind it. I, <laughs> Are those straps? <laughs> <laughs> the leather! The leather! <laughs> so, uh, next question uh, from Marie Getzmuller. Uh, do you play inline hockey? Have you actually played inline? No, I'm terrible. Okay, I'm, I, I suck at inline too. I've got a pair of VH skates with Mars Blade on them. And uh, during the summer, if we ever go to Belgium, we normally go there a lot for the indoor pond hockey classics. I probably mention that tournament in every single video I post. Yeah. That's sort of vlog style, but I freaking love that tournament. I use those there because we go to a place called Eclu in Belgium and we play inline hockey there with the Eclu dogs whenever we're around. But aside from that, in the UK, I don't really play any inline at all. What about... I used to play a little bit uh, a while back when, there, when I didn't have any ice access, um, but I haven't in a long time. Okay, I'm going to let you open this one. We'll move this one out of the way. Oh, you go for this one. Dancing with KK asks, what is your favorite <laughs> hockey team? Wait, wait, let's just address that <laughs> Pardon? Dancing with KK. KK. 231. That's awesome. Uh, right now, it's the uh, Nashville Predators. For absolutely no reason other than the fact that I love the Nashville Predators. Yeah, that's the reason why. I'm punishing myself by continuing to support the Washington Capitals and continuing to be knocked out in the second round or first round of the playoffs for the rest of my life. Uh, my team is uh, Minnesota Wild. Uh, not too hot in the playoffs the last four years. Okay, so this is a pair of Warrior AX1s, the Dynasty gloves. I actually have a pair of these. They're horrific orange and blue to match our uniforms, but um, yeah, love these. But I'm more excited for the second part of this delivery, which is a pair of Warrior's new Alpha gloves, which I have begged for for months and they feel amazing. Yeah. So what are we gonna be doing with them? I am going to do a review of these against the AX1s since I've worn the AX1s for ever, it feels like. 
Uh, and as these are a totally different line, hopefully we'll be able to show you guys the similarities, the differences, why we think these are better or worse. Um, but these feel incredible straight out of the box, so I'm very excited. The, I've never worn Warrior gloves before, so I'm completely unbiased with this. The the feel the feel is it feels like they're broken in already. I don't feel like I need to yeah, do anything. The palms are very soft. It's pretty sick. Like they're a lot softer than these straight out. Of Just the box. I, I don't know. I I can't really explain how how good these feel. Like I'm probably not going to take these off now. The rest of the keep video. them on. Let's <laughs> go with the next question while you got them on. Just so you guys know, we're just asking questions from YouTube right now. Uh, this one's coming from Transit six seven six eight two. How do the seventy Ks compare to the Super Tax Gate? Um, seventy Ks are two piece construction, flexible. Super Tax are one piece. Super so, stiff. So yeah, they're really really stiff, really rigid. Good for really powerful skaters. Whereas the seventy Ks are a good all round skate for pretty much any kind of player on the ice. They're much more forgiving and. I think a, a bigger range yeah, of players yeah. will be able to use them versus the super tax, but easily currently those are probably my favorite CCM skate. To be honest, they're probably my favorite skate that's out right now at the minute. Before we ask another question, it'd probably be easier if I show you what this is. So it's one of those uh, shooter tutors or traps that you get for your um, goals. So you place this in front of the net and you've got targets to shoot through rather than just shooting on an empty net. It'll be easier for me to show you this in the packet rather than opening it up because our net is over there somewhere. Maybe we'll set it up during this video. You'll have to wait and see. But this looks pretty cool. Again, it's from Blue Line Sports. Looking forward to trying this out. Thank you. Next question comes from Ludwig Gudbranson 2. Are you going to Norway at some time? If you are going to Norway, you should go to Stavanger. That is the biggest hockey city in Norway, but you should go there after the summer because it is closed now. Okay, uh, Norway. We are definitely going to Norway this winter for pond hockey. I think we might be going there instead of Finland, but yeah, we're definitely going to Norway when we know when. We'll let you know, but it's, it is going to happen. Hockey repair shop. You guys don't mess around when you wrap up a stick. Jesus. <laughs> Swatsky three. Uh, would you buy any Bauer top of the line sticks? Yes. That's simple answer. <laughs> there you go. Okay, <laughs> next one. Aaron Sedlis, uh, how do you uh, how do you work for hockey tutorial? You get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I think it just comes down to being in the right place at the right time and yeah, it is. having kind of similar interests that we have in a similar kind of overall goal. It's just about sharing what you know with, with everyone that may not know as much about a certain subject as you do. For example, Richard doesn't think he knows a lot about sticks, but actually knows a freakishly large amount about sticks. And he's a great person to be able to kind of break down the different the differences between the different manufacturers that are out there, the different sticks. It just, it makes it easier when you're going into a store and buying something because you already know what you need to know about the product. And I guess that's what it comes down to, but um. And I don't like like brochures. Like that's always the thing. That's when we had that first conversation. Like I don't, you can read about sticks on the internet. It doesn't really tell you about the stick. It tells you about the stuff that makes a stick and what they're trying to get the, like get out of it. But if you don't know anyone that's used it, you don't know anything about that stick, really. Yeah, and aside from that, what I, I really get annoyed by is when you'll see videos online that don't really tell you anything about the stick, but you think they're going to give you a lot more information than they do. And it's why I like Richard's videos, because he literally tells you, this is what has changed, this is how this feels, and if I was given the option, would I go for the new one or the old one? It, it makes so much difference when you're walking into a store, getting ready to fork over two, three hundred dollars, two, three hundred pounds, so you know that you're spending your money the best way that you can. He's <laughs> really struggling to open this stick. Oh, I'm always He's there. still trying to open the stick. I'm always there. Next question from Instagram. What is your favorite pair of gloves? Answer warrior. Yeah, it's a warrior QRL. And what about you? I'm guessing it's gonna be warrior. Yeah, I mean the warrior the AX ones I've got aren't the same as the ones we received today because I got mine off of a pro return shop in the States. Um so they have pro palms which are different. Yeah. Um but they're pretty phenomenal. Like I've I've wanted them for a long time and as soon as I got them I was pretty sure I was never gonna change back. Eagle, I use a lot of Eagle gloves. Those are probably my favorite gloves for for Actually, those are probably my favorite gloves. I have not used Warrior, so I can't can't say for that. This one also comes from Hockey Skills 13. At your headquarters, what do you do? Also, what is the purpose for having it? So the purpose of having the office or the HQ is to be able to be consistent when putting videos out because trying to record things kind of like from home or in the garden or in the street, it's good and it's great and we like doing that, but it's, you know, I've, I've got a family. It's not very easy to be able to get away with doing that at the house. 
and just being able to go somewhere where you can kind of focus on exactly what you need to get done means that your videos are going to be much more consistent. Having the studios is a really, really big deal because we get to put out reviews and overviews on products and make them look really, really good. Um, give you as much detail as we can, give you the best insight into the way the product looks. So it just makes our workflow a lot better. And aside from that, it's an awesome place to chill out and do stuff just like this, to hang out with your friends, catch up, shoot pucks, train. So it's got multiple purposes. We cool, make cool videos here and we also practice hockey and, and hang out, so. And the studio is pretty important. Yes, the studio is a massive deal. Like if you're filming these kinds of videos, you need to have a set space to be able to put out good quality videos. And I hope that's what we do and that's, that's what we need it for. I hope that answers your question. Next question comes from uh, Maddie McBaddy. When are you coming down to Australia? You answered yeah. this before. Right? Yeah, I did. We answered this in the last one. We're trying to make it happen. We're speaking to a lot of people, which includes NSA Hockey. So I'm sure you guys know who they are on Instagram and Facebook. We're trying to organize something with them. So if we do go down to Australia, you can expect us to be uh, hanging out with them and filming some stuff with them. So we don't have any dates just yet, but keep watching, keep staying tuned to our social media and we'll update you with when that's coming about. But. What you got inside there? After you finally open that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a super tax, the original. Uh, it has been snapped here. It doesn't look like they've taken any like stick away at all. It's just been it's completely up. repaired. Um, and we will be testing this against our super tax from our previous video that we will have over there somewhere. And uh, we will tell you how this performs after being repaired at the uh, hockey repair shop. They've got a nice decal on the stick for us. Right about there. The biggest bonus with the hockey repair shop is that their sticks only cost 75 euros. So we're gonna be really interested to see how it stacks up against the super tax that hasn't been broken. Next question coming from CI Sullivan 03. Uh, what do you prefer, Bauer or CCM? CCM. Um, I used to be massively into Bauer to the point where I didn't use anything else apart from the Warrior gloves. Um, after going to CCM, I'm currently wearing the 70k skates. They were pretty badass. But I'm still torn. I think Bauer sticks are just unreal. They're just so expensive, but they're unreal. Um, so I'm 50-50, very much 50-50. Actually recently just got a pair of the CCM FT1s. It's the first time I've used a non-Bauer skate in almost 15 years. But um, what do you think of it though? I really like them a lot. Like I was actually surprised at how much, like how little it was for me to change from a, from a Vapor APX2 to the CCM FT1 jet speed. It's a, it's a phenomenal skate. I can't like, I love it. I just, I, I'll probably, I might try Bauer again. I might stay with CCM. I don't know, but I'm definitely enjoying the FT1s right now. So next parcel, this thing's been beaten up in the post. So most of the packaging is already off of it, but it is a mini, it's a mini shooting board from Blue Line Sports again, with nice uh, beveled edges so you can scoop the puck up nice and easily. Uh, not really sure what we're gonna be using this for, but we will try it out. So looking forward to that. From oh wait, there's, there's more stuff inside the box. One sec. More stuff? Yeah. Stand by for more stuff. No, it's a friggin' Stanley Cup. Oh, is it inflatable Stanley Cup? Yeah. Yes. That's incredible. <laughs> yes, inflatable Stanley Cup. That's definitely going to be going in the office. That is yeah, sweet. That's... This box is empty. All right, this is another stick, clearly. Like, you're not going to get anything else other than a stick in a box this big. All right, there you go. You, huh. you can have that. Bar down Spartan. Uh, when you're looking for a stick, do you tend to go for the same curve every time, or do you switch it up a bit? Okay, I'm super boring. I go for the same curve every time, which is 88. Uh, but personally, I don't feel that my skill level is good enough for me to be able to be particular with my curves. So long as whatever I'm using is similar to an 88, I'll use it. I use pretty much the same curve. I request everything. I've recently changed from an 85 to a 75 because I'm not lying to myself. I'm a not strong person. Um, and I try and get... <laughs> I try and get 88s wherever I can. That's a Bauer P88, so a W88 in Warrior and a, what, P19 in CCM, I think. Um, but Chris never orders the right curve, so I get whatever. So this is a Warrior Alpha. You can tell from the top. So we got the full set here. This is a stick uh, that Warrior brought out to replace a Dynasty. I definitely ordered this in a, well, I say ordered. I asked for Chris to get a 75 in a W88. Who complains about free sticks, man? I'm not complaining about free sticks. Jeez. You asked, you asked about curves, but this is a W03, so that's a P92 clone. Um, but yeah, 
We'll use it, test it, see how we get on. But yeah, I try and stick to the 75 or the 88, but quite often it's the 92. Occasionally it's just some crazy curve that we, we get sent. Another box here. Stick again. Sticks. God, there's a lot of sticks. There's a lot of sticks. Jenkinson, what is your favorite type of hockey trip to go on? Sweden. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> From Owen, Owen Jenkinson. I, I, meat manufacturers for me is pretty sick. Yeah, I like I like the networking I like trips. Like the pond hockey stuff, don't get me wrong, that's freaking amazing. But the stuff that I really like is when we get to go and network and meet uh, people that we've not met before, meet companies that we've never seen before. Those are the best kinds of tri uh, trips. So if it's a trade show or if it's like a, um, like a, a, a testing product, testing event by Bauer, CCM, Warrior, Winwell, we love going to those things because it's just, it's awesome to just see the people that are behind the brands, the faceless brands that you don't ever get to see. And I, we love meeting new people and being able to network. What, yeah. what about yourselves? I'll let Richard go. No, no, yeah, the CCM yeah. visit was sick. Like meeting the people and seeing their ideas for how to make hockey products better and then going to actually do things with them, particularly because we went to have the scrimmage with those guys and they're all insanely good. Like, as you can imagine, they're all Swedes and we're Brits. It's just brutal. Well, you're not honorary, <laughs> honorary Brit for that trip. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's been here almost as long as I have. But yeah, that was, that was awesome. We haven't really been on any others at the minute, though. That's yeah, we need, we, need to do, we need to do more with, with these guys. If we go to Canada soon, that'll be, yeah. that'll be awesome. Canada's always a sick spot to be in. Yeah, my, my, uh, no, I've never been. My first trip with these guys was to Sweden as well as the CCM, um, CCM headquarters. It was, it was pretty awesome. Uh, I grew up playing playing hockey a lot too, so I got to see quite a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of tournaments and things when I was growing up too. But uh, for the most part, Sweden is probably the highlight. Sick. But we've got lots more. Like I said, Norway, Montreal, Toronto coming up. Australia, we're trying to figure that out. And hopefully Japan. In, uh, Possibly Japan. Yeah, in 2018. So uh -huh. yeah, that'll be fun. Keep watching. Next question, man. Next question coming from... Oh, sorry. What, what was inside there? Oh, wait. Uh, you got something to open here. Yes. You can give me a hand on these because there's two of them. What are they? Triggers. Uh, trigger two? Trigger no, one. trigger ones. Trigger ones. Trigger ones. Okay. When you see this, it means that you know that a VS video is coming from this guy over here. And aside from that, I've actually only used this very, very briefly. So I wanted to just use it again. I really like the kind of... The rounded shaft, is that, is that how you say it, Rich? Yeah, I love it. Really <laughs> he loves a rounded shaft. But I like the way the, uh, the, the shaft is, is angled in this one. Like the, 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 the middle bit kind of goes in. How do you call that? Concave. Concave. There you go. Stick specialist. Concave section. I like the way it feels. It feels good in the hands. I wanted to give this another go before we start to uh, test out the uh, trigger two. So, awesome. Thank you, CCM. As always, we love you guys. Rebounder? Puck bouncer? Passer. Passer? Passer. Yeah, triangle passer. Yep, it's it's metal. It's super heavy. I'll open this real quick so we can have a quick look at it. This question comes from Bar Down Hockey Eight. Why is True Hockey so popular? And I'm thinking about buying one of their twigs. Is there any advice in what stick I should tr or buy or try? You guys answer that. Let me just get this out real quick. They, well, they now make the best skates you can get. Yeah, yes. So I, this is super heavy. So we'll we'll take a closer look after we've finished because there's a lot of boxes around here. True sticks. I'm. You're never really going to lose out buying on buying the sticks. It's it's never going to be a waste of money. The only thing that is, I think you'd agree with me, is they are probably one of the best performing sticks on the market, but their durability isn't as good as some of the other sticks that are out there. I think that's pretty yeah, fair I think to it's say. Pretty fair. Like the A6.0 is probably the best out of the box stick I've had. Uh, it got soft a little bit quicker and it broke down a little bit quicker than I might have liked. But out of the box, things like phenomenal and they don't weigh anything. They're just stupid light. We've used both silos, like I've got an XCOR 9. They perform really well, but chipping and stuff is more of an issue than for example with Bauer, who I've had the best experience with in terms of stick damage. Durability. Yeah, they've, they've, they've not taken any. Uh, like unless someone steps on the blade of the stick, I've not had anything. So this has nothing to do with hockey, but this was sent over. And I've got to be honest, it's probably one of the uh, things that we've been sent that I've been the most excited about. I'll be honest. I opened it before this video because I couldn't wait. The second it came into the office, I had to get outside with it. It's uh, an electric longboard from a company called Slick Revolution, who are UK based. So obviously there's companies out there that we all know of, like the Booster board, which is based in California. Now, the issue with that is you buy one, anything goes wrong with it, you have to ship the board from England back to California. I wasn't up for that. These guys are based in the UK, so it just, it makes sense to be able to speak to people that are in the same country as you. It's not light but it's pretty freaking awesome. Here's a, a quick look at it. I've been riding the hell out of this thing for the last 
three, four days. I've not driven to work at all. I've just been using this thing. Does about 20 miles an hour. Lasts for about between seven and eight miles is what I've been able to get out of it. This thing's sick. So maybe expect some videos on this thing coming soon. If you're wondering, he does ride it down the hallway to his office, which is about 50 feet from yeah, his yeah. door. Yeah. So hopefully we'll find a, a way to incorporate this in some hockey videos coming soon. I just remember there's a massive pallet behind you that we didn't even open. Oh, well, there is. Tommy really loves pray shop. Last one from Instagram, uh, Stable Warrior 34 what's your favorite TV show? Game of Thrones, hands down. I'll need a list. So Game of Thrones, definitely up there. Supergirl, you guys can give me crap for it. I don't care. Yeah, what is wrong yeah, with I did that. <laughs> I'm I waiting like for it. gossip. But anyways, next. anyways, uh, Gotham. I think that's dope. Borders, probably the number one show. Ray Donovan. I'm trying to think of anything else that I watch a lot of. Ray Donovan. Borders is. Ray Donovan is that like is, the guy is such so a gangster weird. man. Jeez. But yeah, I think those are the main ones really. Arrow. Arrow is pretty cool too. I haven't watched that. I, I like, watched I like that Arrow. Either. Flash. Flash is dope. You watch, you watch too much TV. I watch series. Me and me and Richard decided that Chris watches too much TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, but here's the thing: like, I don't, I don't watch an episode every day. Like, I'll have evenings where I'll just binge on like an entire season. But I, during the week, I'm not going to watch TV Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Th I'll have like one day, maybe a week, that I'll just sit there and burn through as many episodes as I can. It's, I just prefer to do it that way. I can't watch one episode of something and then wait a week for the next. Uh, I do like Game of Thrones. Good one. Uh, I've watched a couple of weird shows recently. American Gods I watched recently. That was uh, actually pretty strange. I'm not... I think I got a couple episodes left of that one. That was pretty... It's it's like a train wreck. You can't look... You can't really look away. Mia Simchik? Um, sorry. Uh, sorry for butchering your name there. Uh, guys, have you ever tried a refurbished stick? What is your opinion about it? Do you think there's a big no difference idea. between refurbished sticks and a new stick in terms of weight and overall performance? Don't know yet. Ask me two weeks. Okay, so we have two super tax sticks. One is pro stock, one is retail stock. Uh, the pro stock one has been broken right over here. It's been repaired by these guys right here, the hockey repair shop. We're going to be figuring out how it feels in comparison to a not broken, previously repaired super tax. And we'll give you some feedback on how it feels. That's what Mr. Richard is going to be doing for us in about a week or so. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you check out all of the other videos that are going to be on the screen, probably around there somewhere. Anything you want to see next or any questions that you have that we didn't answer, comment down below and we'll answer them in the next one. We have a ton of parcels coming in from Grit, uh, INC based in Canada, from STX, from Warrior, True. So there's going to be another unboxing Q&A coming pretty soon. So any questions that you feel that we didn't answer or that you want to know, leave them down below. Also, let us know if you prefer it with just Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching guys Make sure you hit the subscribe button And take care till next time